Boom, baby, boom! Rise and shine. It's your morning marijuana motivation time. I'm your host with the most is Marky Saint. And every morning I get up and I am blessed to reach, preach, and teach to people. It's such a blessing to share from experience to help others get through their experience. And today is one of those of regret and pain and the suffering that we as humans carry around with us after traumatic experiences. See, yesterday I was speaking about fixing the broken and we all have this broken teacup that needs mending and how they used to place gold in between the cracks. Gold, because this is where we shine, right? It's the people that get through their obstacles that we are impressed by. This is something that we are, as human beings, are attracted to because it's obvious we love an underdog story we want to see somebody come from suffering to success and success over suffering is going to be a shirt that's a new saint's anarchy shirt but anyway um the point of this morning marijuana motivation was us to process the fact that all of us have regret that every human being that you've ever met has regret. Not one of us perfected this thing called life. Not one of us came through unscathed or without anger, without fear, without resentment. This all affects us all. So it made me feel so much better after sharing with my friend. I was like, man, I, I want a better relationship with my brother. I keep fucking it up. You know, he deserves better. I wouldn't even talk to me either. Kind of, kind of deep conversations, a sad conversation. And I told him how this one time, I was out wrestling and I was really hungry and I was about to eat and he took a chip off my plate and I swung at him and I actually hit him and I actually knocked him out for a little bit and I regret this moment and regret it and I have to say it in public and it sucks. The reason I'm telling you this is because I was telling my dear friend this and what he immediately told me was like, you know who else has done that? Me too. He's like, I punched my brother down in the dirt, bro. It's the worst feeling ever. And I was like, oh my God, dude, we did the same thing. Can you believe that other people have had the same exact regrets that you've done? Just like every human being has the same feelings. Not that we have the same experiences, but we do do the same stupid shit. It's not like you'd be the first one to cow tip. Or I'm trying to get this. The sun's behind me, but here we're in the hammock. But this is my point is that you're not the only one. And you're not alone. And there's a lot of us with you. And that made me feel so much better inside than thinking that it was just all me. You know, I'm the only one that this happened to, you know, um, so much regret, so much um, keeping it inside physically. And now that I'm done with the workout, it's like I get to relieve some of that anxiety. I get to relieve some of that stress because it's real. You'll have so much tension in your body and you can have even a tension uh, in your body, like literally slumped over shoulders with the drama start setting in. Anxiety makes us our heartbeats go up and we don't even get to notice it. So it's like watching yourself and identifying yourself, identifying the regret, identifying the depression, identifying the hate and the anger and the fear, right? And and this was shadow work last week, but it gets to come up in this week and that knowing that we all do the same thing. We've all made the same mistakes. We've all driven drunk, slept with someone we didn't want to. Uh um didn't wear a condom like there's so many little mistakes little tweaks little twerks that we all need to work on and that's something that i wanted to talk about is just letting us know that it's better it's almost like an aa circle or an a circle it's the fact that we're in a group you know when you're in a group you, you realize that you're not alone and other people have scarier stories or better stories or, or or a common story and that's the thing that reaches us the most so when we're fixing the broken like i was talking about yesterday when you're going deep inside yourself and you'll go okay maybe i didn't have a good enough relationship with my father or 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 i'd like to have a better relationship with my siblings and i can only speak for myself but everybody knows their own regrets and to fix the topic man stop beating yourself up so hard and not just to myself, but to the world. We do that so much. We hold on to the years, decades, fucking, of, of, of emotions and feelings that all of us have. All of us have done it. And that's something that I got the aha moment from my friend today. I was so grateful because he was like, me too. And that's something for the Me Too movement. And that's where it got so much energy. It's just not just, it's not just one. There's a lot of us. And where there's uh, togetherness, there's power, you know? And... Um, What's the word? How's the phrase go? Where they say, uh, uh, man, I lost it. The morning motivation is kicking in. 
What's the one with the uh, together stronger or together further? And that's what I wanted us all to get is further in their lives, being able to get past some of our internal shit after doing the shadow work so we can accelerate on our light work. And that's this morning's marijuana motivation. On oh, my heart from the stars, your boy Marky you Saint Saint's addiction. You got anything out of this message? Like, follow, share, subscribe. I want people to be reach, preach, and teach to every day. And that's a blessing. And I will see you on the other side. Peace and love. And Chigathon. That means goodbye, but not forever. And finish.